Hi, SEO or search engine optimization in simple terms is all about getting your site, page or video to rank higher in Google. The best way to get higher rankings in Google is by getting backlinks from high authority sites that Google trusts. Wikipedia is one of the very best sources for these backlinks. The only problem is finding ones that you can use that are related to your niche or topic. So how would you like to be able to simply search using your keyword to find the Wikipedia links that you can use in your SEO campaigns? That's exactly what Backlink Rhino does. You can then use those links for your own sites or videos or for your clients. So let's actually have a look at Backlink Rhino in action. This is the Backlink Rhino control panel. We like to keep things clean and simple. There are two types of search. It defaults to the dead link search. Simply click on the switch to go to the citation link search or again to go back to the dead link search. Simply use the search box to search for any keywords in your niche. The higher level the keyword, the more results will be returned and vice versa. These are live, immediate results from Wikipedia using their API. In other words, they are bang up to date. Let's do an example. I'm going to go with Bitcoin and I can choose that and click on go and we will start getting result results immediately and you can see how quick it is. And you can see if I scroll down, this is not just one or two results. There's a page full here. So we've got a good selection of results to work through and have a look at. The results returned show the title of the article and the search term snippet along with the word count of the article. Clicking on the title of the article will take you to the article itself on Wikipedia. Clicking on the arrow to the left of the result will open up a new subtable showing the dead link results found on the page, normally only one. Now this can take a moment or two when it's first run. The link destination and the anchor text is shown. We also do an analysis to find the current response code for the link. A 404 just means it's a dead page on a live domain. A zero means that the domain might be available for registration. Now, if I click on that little arrow again and reduce that one, I'm going to go to another example, uh, the fifth on the page, Bitstake. Now, when I was looking at this earlier on, about 10 minutes ago, it was showing as a status of 404, so potentially an expired domain. And in fact, it was. What I'm going to do is pull my browser box down a little bit so you can actually see at the top the URL. I'm going to click on that for that domain and it comes up as nothing showing because the, the site was expired. If I change this now and get rid of the subdomain blog and just go to bitstake.co, you'll find that yes, it was free. I have registered it literally 10 minutes ago. You can verify for yourself that this domain was registered on Thursday the 15th of June 2017, which was right now when I'm creating this video. So I was able within four or five uh, results for the term Bitcoin to find an expired domain and grab it. And I've now got that domain and I can use it for backlinks to my own sites and offers and I know that it's got a high authority link from Wikipedia. Now, if we go back to Backlink Rhino, you can see that the actual link or the domain that's linked to from Wikipedia is blog.bitstake. So it's a subdomain and a page on that subdomain. So I am gonna have to create that subdomain and that page and put the relevant information on there, which is the page that then gets linked to, is linked to from Wikipedia, and I can then create backlinks to my own sites and videos from that. Now, I haven't actually done that yet simply because I wanted to grab the domain while it was available and make sure that I've got it for this demonstration video. The final step is to see if the link destination page exists on archive.org. If it is present, then you can click on the link to visit the archived copy and use it to recreate the page on your own domain, obviously being aware of copyright issues. Now, let's actually go back to uh, we'll go over to Wayback Machine or archive.org and I've typed in or copied in the full URL and it looks like there's one uh, entry there but if I click on it it's not got anything in there can't find anything so basically there isn't any content on Wayback Machine archive.org for that particular page now that's not a problem because we know there is some content about it 
on Wikipedia itself. So we can click on the link for the Wikipedia page and go and find out what Bitstake was about. Now in this case, it appears to be a defunct Nigerian cryptocurrency. So I can dig out some information about that and set up a page about that cryptocurrency, bit of information about it, what happened, etc. And then it's very easy to work in some related links on that page to my own pages, blog, offer, wherever I want to send that link juice. And that will flow through from Wikipedia to that expired domain that I've grabbed and then through to my pages and my offers, boosting my rankings in Google. You can do this so easily by grabbing these expired domains that are linked to in Wikipedia simply by searching in Backlink Rhino on your particular niche keywords. So you can see by now just how quick and easy it is with Backlink Rhino to find these high value, high authority backlinks and then point them at your own offers and pages to use them for your own sites or your client sites and boost your rankings. Now let's look at the other type of backlink available from Wikipedia, citation links. You can perform a citation link search by typing in a new keyword at the top again and switching over from dead links to citation and clicking on go. And again, if I start scrolling down, you can see that this isn't just one or two results. There are rather a lot. Now, these are claims and quotes in articles that Wikipedia say need a citation or source backlink in order to prove the claim. Obviously, this is a great opportunity for you to do the necessary research and become the citation yourself. Citation needed keyword searches basically gives you a similar result to the dead link searches. Opening up each search by clicking on the little arrow here shows the actual fact that requires citation. And if you mouse over, you can see the whole text. You can also click on the article itself up here to visit that article. You will need to visit the article itself with this method as it does require a bit more research to gather the relevant information to prove the citation. Once you have that, you can set up a page on your own related blog or site with the information needed to verify the citation and then add that or the link to that to the Wikipedia page itself, getting your site the backlink. The benefit of this method is that the backlink from Wikipedia can be pointed directly to your site, giving an even bigger boost in rankings in Google. Either of the methods that you can use with Backlink Rhino will provide a massive boost to your rankings in Google. Which one you use is entirely up to you. Using them both will give you an even bigger boost. Wikipedia backlinks are often offered as a service from SEO companies who charge $50 to $100 for just one backlink. With Backlink Rhino, you can search for as many as you want. And once you own the domain, you have far more flexibility on what you can use the backlinks for, whether you want to rank a post on your own site, an offer or squeeze page, or even a video on YouTube. Using just one backlink from your own domain linked to from Wikipedia will get you far more Google ranking juice than buying a bunch of low quality links from other services. It's like getting the backlink juice from a public blog network from just one link. When it comes to backlinks and ranking, Wikipedia backlinks are the gold standard. Not only can you use these links for yourself, you could easily charge clients for providing these backlinks and even charge them a monthly recurring as an SEO service, creating a long-term recurring income stream for your business. You could even sell the domains by flipping them on a domain sales site for quick profits. If you want to be able to rank on demand for high value buyer keywords, Backlink Rhino is the solution. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the inside.